All right, version 9.2a. Uh, had some requests and had a little time, so I played around with this and I added a, a, a new feature. And this feature is something new, I guess, with the latest version of the regulation. That's to add a recovery day or a day of rest after a certain 24-hour duty. So charge of quarters here, we'll consider a 24-hour duty. So the person pulling that duty uh, will need a, uh, an unassigned day following for a day of rest. Uh, we're going to start this illustration with the uh, simplest version. I'm handling weekends and entered holidays the same. Of course, if you're new to the sheet, I've got don't skip the weekends and treat them together with one list. You'll notice here I added a new column and I've got add a recovery day. So if I change this to a yes, I'm going to assign one soldier for a length of one day and I'm going to provide a day of recovery after that if available. Uh, other uh, things on the sheet is I have uh, included some extra A code uh, and U and D codes. So U's and D's, basically the number is incremented adding one when we have those. And when it's an A code, it does not add one. So I've got leave and pass and some other common choices here and they're set up. This is how I defined them on which would be treated which way. So first up, we've got our day one duty assignments uh, scheduled here. And uh, let's say we have uh, the first corporal on the list has duty already assigned on the second day. So even though he's the highest number, he's obviously unavailable for that recovery day. So if I create the roster, you'll see that uh, Corporal Charles was not given duty. It went to the next highest person on the list. And then once uh, that was assigned, a recovery day was assigned after it. So we see that going through here. So again, we can uh, clear the roster. I'm going to clear all the entries, leaving only exceptions and duty codes. So I'm going to hit yes, and I'm going to go ahead and, and clear out the slashes. And I'm going to clear out the R's. There's a message boxes that pop up that aren't catch, captured in this recording, but it's pretty straightforward. So uh, let's look at the same uh, assignment, but this time we're not going to add a recovery day. So again, if we do this as, you know, I'm just going to put it once. And if I assign the duty without a day of rest and create the roster, you'll see that Charles was assigned duty because there's no rest coming in. So that's the kind of the easiest example here. Let's take a look at what happens when we change the mode. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and skip uh, weekends and holidays and if you select skip this value doesn't really matter because we're going to skip the weekend so again if we come here we're going to clear the roster of assignments again apologies for not showing you these pop-up boxes but I'm just trying to record this through windows so again now we're, we've set up to skip weekends so the weekends are grayed out per the spreadsheet that's just conditional formatting and if we come through here and assign the initial number and we'll uh, just mix it up here and I want to go back to assigning a recovery day so I will say yes here for charge of quarters and if I come over and create the roster we'll see what happens so basically as expected uh, our highest number got the duty and an R is denoted in the day after for each person getting the duty until we get to the weekend. Uh, weekend's already a built-in recovery day, so we don't put the R in there, but for weekdays, we go ahead and include the recovery day after. Like I said, it's looking uh, to the right to make sure we do not have uh, any issues. Uh, and uh, that's just a nice feature. There's another feature if we go back and look at uh, not skipping the weekends and handling the roster as one number we can actually change the length of duty so if we wanted to assign a two-day duty we can come back here one shortcut of here is if we reselect uh, charge of quarters it'll uh, go ahead and default to the number of uh, soldiers from this table so we had this set to one now let's change it up. Let's go ahead and assign two soldiers for two days of duty for charge of quarters. So again, if I 
change this it will automatically prompt you to update to two and I'm going to clear the roster of assignments again these are all just Windows pop-ups that once you get the spreadsheet you'll see it I'm going to go ahead and type in our numbers to get started and when I create the roster with the button here you'll see that we've assigned two for each day with a day of rest after and since we're not skipping the weekends it just trudges right on through uh, again we can do the same thing by toggling that on and off but I thought that'd be something some people might be interested in like I said uh, you know, I don't spend a lot of time working on this spreadsheet anymore but I you know I had a request and had you know a free afternoon so I thought I would see if I could get it in there until next time bye everybody